Hello everybody, in a previous video, I have converted an old small form factor desktop PC into a Linux machine for 3D works by installing Zorin OS. This video is a continuation of that series. In this video, I have documented the process of creating an eGPU or external GPU rig for 3D rendering supports for programs such as Blender's Cycle. The rig will work with other operating systems such as Windows as well. Before I proceed, I would like to make a disclaimer here. That is that I am not liable for any damage that may arise from the outcome should you decide to build something similar by following this video. You assume full responsibility for the risk involved as I cannot guarantee that it will work for you. Okay, let's start. Basically, this rig consists mainly of a mining riser set, a GPU or video card, a PSU or power supply unit, a case fan, and a desktop casing. Please ensure that the equipments are powered off before doing any assembling work and that you are properly grounded. For the GPU, I use uh, NVIDIA P106 mining card. This card is very similar to the GTX 1060. However, it is a stripped down and cheaper version that is without video outputs. And I was able to buy it cheaply. In order for the PSU to be able to be powered without the motherboard, the 12 pin connector should be tweaked. That is, in my case here, the third and fourth wire connection corresponding to the black and green wires has to be connected. I use a short wire as shown in this video to achieve that. The desktop case fan comes with Molex connection for connecting directly to the PSU. Your PSU or power supply unit should have the relevant power specification and connectors. In this case here, I have a 6-pin connector for the P106 GPU. You will also need to power the riser as well. And on the safe side, please have the 6-pin connectors connected straight from the PSU without dubious adapters in between. Please do make sure that there are enough power to supply those connections. A USB 3 mining cable is used to connect the PCIe TAM1 plug on the motherboard of the desktop to the PCIe TAM16 socket in the eGPU rig. The GPU or mining card is inserted into the PCIe TAM16 slot of the riser. Lastly, I also ensure that the loose ends of the components are properly secured. Okay, the eGPU rig is finally built. Now, let's power it on. And then, let's also power the main desktop PC. Let's open Blender. And you can see that P106 external GPU is detected. I'm going to disable this option now. Let's explore rendering results without and with GPU support. I'm going to fast forward the video. Okay, as you can see, without eGPU, the render took approximately 1 minute 50 seconds. Let's look at rendering with the P106 external GPU support. I'm going to fast forward the video. The render is approximately 20 seconds. Now, that's a huge improvement. Again, I would like to stress that you 
assume full responsibility for the risks involved and your own safety when handling electrical stuff. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope that is useful. If you like to see 3D and cat related stuff, please do consider subscribing to my channel. See you. Bye.